In the book of Corinthians, let's look at what Paul told this church. In 1 Corinthians chapter number 14, I read verse 20. He says, Brethren, are you there? Brethren, be not children in what? Understanding. How be it in malice be what? Children. But in understanding be you what? Men. Three categories of people are here. One is a little a babe. The other one is a child. The other one is an adult. So here, what he was actually saying to them is, Brethren, be not babes when it comes to what? Understanding. Understanding things. Don't be a child. Have understanding. Mature. He said, How be it? In malice, be children. Little children. Two years. Three years. They don't keep malice. Am I right? They will fight now. After fighting, in the next minute, they are doing water, playing football again. So, when it comes to understanding, don't be a babe. You don't know anything at all, at all. You've not reached the school age. That's what he was saying. But when it comes to malice, keeping malice, be children. Three years, two years, four years, they fight, and after fighting, the next moment, they're playing football. The most moment they are sharing bread together and they are eating together. So be like them. You say now when it comes to understanding, be what man, be mature man, mature. So if there is any time he wants you to be a babe, it is in the area of what malice. Children don't understand it. They don't know. They can't say, you did me this yesterday. You did me this yesterday. The moment they finish it here and they do water, they forget it. So he said, be like them. Mature. Now, apart from that, he said something else. In chapter number 13 of the same First Corinthians. And verse number 11. He said, when I was a child, I do water. I speak as a child. I understood as a child. I thought as a child. When, when I became a man, I do what? I put away childish things. But I see you still carrying childish things. You've not put it away. You are still speaking like a child. You are still behaving like a child. You are still thinking like a child. Spiritually speaking. Thinking carnally. The Lord will want you to put it away. And let it not be just coming to church. We come to church and they make noise and they go. No. The Lord expects each and every one of us to take advantage of the ministrations in the church. And to grow. Grow up in him. Grow up in him. Grow up in him. Grow up in Christ. Not this noise making. After noise making, they commit fornication. After noise making, they go into masturbation. After noise making, they watch pornography on the internet. Because they are still interested in all those things. After all the noise in the church, they go back home. And at the same time, they are quarreling. And they are fighting. And they are gossiping. And they are into tell bearing. And they are disobedient to the authorities of the church. And then they are doing a lot of things behind the scene. No. A real Christian is a transparent man. And a transparent woman. You can see through his life. He can speak like Paul the Apostle. When he was speaking to the Thessalonian Christians, he said, Ye are witnesses, and the God also. How holily, how justly, how unblameably I behaved myself among you. They said, Look at it. How holily, how justly, how unblameably. You know the meaning? If you don't understand the first one, you understand the second one. If you don't understand the second one, you understand. How holily, how justly, how unblameably. 
I was, he said, you people, I am not only calling God to witness. God is not here physically to speak. But you people, you saw me. You saw my character. You saw my behavior. You saw my lifestyle. How holily, how justly, how unblameably I behaved myself among you. You didn't see me becoming angry. You didn't see my eyes turning red. You didn't see me fighting with any person. You didn't see me quarreling with any person. You didn't see me striving with any person. You didn't see me in enmity with any person. You didn't see me into tell bearing. You didn't see me gossiping any person. You didn't see me castigating any person. You didn't see me destroying any person with my mouth. You didn't see me degrading any person. You didn't see me destroying any person. You didn't see me doing that. I didn't steal from any person. I didn't covet any person's silver. I didn't covet any person's gold. The same thing Samuel did before the Jews. He said, testify against me before the Lord and before his anointed. Whose ox have I taken? Whose ass have I coveted? From whose hands did I collect bribe to blindfold myself? Testify. And the people turned to him and said, Samuel, we know you from the time you were small. You have never known such a thing. That's Christianity. 